Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to the channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. Uh, and it, for you folks that have not yet done so, you know, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And also please hit that like button. And to learn more about me, learn more about my company and how we can help take your gym to that next level, you know, please check out the links below. Now, with that said, let's get into our topic here today. And the, the topic is, you know, five small daily steps that you can take every day toward bigger gym sales. Five small daily steps you can take every day that are going to lead to bigger gym sales. So let's get into these as we're going through this, you know, take some notes, watch this video, you know, more than once. Okay. And use these as a fundamental uh, foundation of how you can really grow your sales. If you're a salesperson or how you can grow your sales, if you're a sales manager or, or whatever you might be, this really is the foundation for it. And so number one, learn more about your customer. Okay. Now, hopefully we're using, you know, needs analysis and things like this. And you can search this here on the channel to learn more about, you know, how to use a needs analysis. But when I say learn more about your customer, you know, what are their goals and why are those goals important to them? That's first and foremost, you know, what are their goals and why are those goals important? Because ultimately what you're trying to do here is solve that problem for them. You're trying to provide a solution. Okay. Don't just go on autopilot and show them the entire facility. Okay. And talk, 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 tell, 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 learn more about your customer, what they want to do, why it's important to them. What have they done before? You know, why do they feel it has not worked? Why do they feel it did work? You know, what were they doing? You know, the, when they were in their ideal condition, what were they doing then? Learn more about your customer. The more you can learn about them, the more you can help them make that decision, you know, to get the results that they're looking for. So learn more about your customer. Number two, set aside time for prospecting. You know, too often we simply just wait for things to happen. We wait for the phone to ring. We wait for people to come in. We hope our members are going to bring folks in. Set a time for prospecting. Okay. Cause one of the things you have to do, no matter who you are, you have to keep your pipeline full. Unless you have people to talk to on a regular basis, you know, you're going to be a victim of the ebb and flow of just people showing up. Okay. Make sure we're prospecting, make sure you have a, a strategy for lead generation and some easy things. I mean, referrals. Okay. That's a great one, right? Okay. Referrals, you know, current members that are working out, new members that are coming in, former members, you know, help them get a workout partner. Okay. Look at referrals, former members. I mean, in many cases, the former member is the number two source of new enrollments behind, you know, referrals. You know, those are great pipeline potentials to really be prospecting. But make sure when we're prospecting, make sure we're nurturing. In other words, we're trying to maintain or even create interest and desire. It's not simply, hey, come in and join. Okay. So number two on our list, set aside time for prospecting. Number three, you know, build up your current network build up your current network. Okay. And what I like to see us do is we want this group of ambassadors, folks that know who we are, that are promoting us all the time. Okay. You know, how can you build your current network? I'll give you a couple examples. A, you can join a networking event, you know, go to meetup.com, join some local networking events, attend those things. Okay. It's a great way to build ambassadors in this. But also when you talk about building your current network, you know, try something like this. And this also gets back to, you know, kind of setting aside time for prospecting. Maybe have a night in your facility for all your local real estate agents to come in. Okay. And let them know what you're doing. Okay. What's going on here at the gym and how, Hey, if they sell a new home, maybe you'll make available a free 30 day membership for, you know, the, the new, uh, new buyers of that home. Okay. Everybody gets a free 30 day membership or two weeks or as much as you can give. And so now all of a sudden you're, you're, you're expanding your network because all the folks that are moving into the area, you know, real estate agents are talking about you. Oh yeah. Here's the place to work out. Here's the place where you want to go. And then if they sell the home, they can give away a free one month membership. 
okay it's a great way to expand your network you can do the same thing with commercial brokers you can do the same thing with apartment leasing managers these things work well so work to build up your current network more people that are ambassadors you know talking about you number four create a sales funnel and what i mean by this is you want to create a process Again, you can you can do a deeper dive on this, you know, do some research here, do, do a search on the channel, you know, for the sales process and things like that. But what is your process when that customer comes in? What is your sales process to navigate them into becoming a customer? What does your second sale look like? What does your third sale look like? What is your process for telephone inquiries? What is your process for scheduling an appointment? What does your follow-up process look like? All these are funnels in a sense, okay? You know, so create these funnels, create these processes. Again, you can find these here on the channel, just you know, go into the search bar and type it in. And so you wanna make sure you have this, and now you're maximizing your opportunity at every case. And then finally, rank your sales leads. Rank your sales leads. Here's what I mean by this. Okay, if you're looking and you're, you're making phone calls, and hopefully we're doing this, right? We're prospecting, okay, every day, okay? We're making our calls. You're going to have some that are maybe at 20%, you know, they're at the low end of interest, and you're going to have some that are 90%. You're at the higher end of interest. And the reason you want to rank them, in a sense, is to know what you're going to say to them. Because if somebody's at 90%, if they're essentially there, Really, all you have to do is ask for the appointment or maybe ask for the sale or provide some urgency. And you're probably going to get them to go to that next level, which is becoming a customer of yours. Well, if they're at 20% or something down there at the lower end of this, that won't work. Okay, because over here, we need to build trust and we need to build confidence. We have to have the customer understand their powerful why, and there may be more nurturing that needs to take place. We have to move them through this process. So you wanna rank your leads because based on where they're at, that's how you're gonna to talk to them, right? And make sure you take good notes on that. So five small daily steps that you can take that if you'll do these, this will lead to bigger sales. If you're brand new at sales, start doing this immediately. If your club is struggling or if you're struggling, start doing this immediately. This will start to have an immediate impact, you know, for what you're trying to accomplish. All right. So folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. If you're not already done so, please hit the like button. And again, to learn more about me and my company and how we can help take your business to that next level, you know, check out those links below. And we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.